everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a couple styling tips and ideas to help to spruce up your kitchen space and make it feel a lot more high-end and designer. And these are things that I've implemented in my own kitchen. So I'm gonna kind of show you footage and how I style things and just how things currently look in there right now. So hopefully you're able to gain some inspiration for your own space. And at least in our house, the kitchen is the most used room of the house. So it's really important to me that it's very practical and functional, it's aesthetic and looks nice, but also also is budget friendly as well. So I'm gonna kind of show you how I married all of those things to get a more elevated look. And hopefully you're able to take some fun ideas away from this video and apply them to your own space. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first, one of my favorite ways to get a designer look in my kitchen is to incorporate aesthetic practical use items that you use every day. Most of us actually use our kitchen and they're usually one of the most used rooms of the home. So it's inevitable that we're just gonna have things littering the countertops and the things that we constantly use in our cooking are going to be out. So when you can identify what those pieces are, maybe it's an oil cruet, maybe it's a salt shaker, just the things that you use every single day and that are always out on your countertop, take the time to source very aesthetic pieces so they give your space a more elevated feel. Some of the pieces that I leave out on my countertop that help to add to the overall aesthetic of my space would be my olive oil dispenser. I bought mine on Etsy and I love the handmade look of it because it actually is handmade by a potter in Kentucky and ceramics are a must for me when I'm styling a kitchen. They're made of clay so they help to bring that natural earthy element into a space and just give off an artisan look and feel which makes a space feel curated and collected. And we also have a scalloped ceramic spoon rest and a canister that I keep my sugar in and it's always so convenient to use when I need to sweeten my coffee or I need to use it in a sauce or a recipe that it's just within arm's reach. And we also have a set of handmade ceramic mugs. And this was actually a vintage set that I found on eBay. They were made by a popular Mexican ceramic artist. And I love the stacking mug set and just the gorgeous glazes that he used. They're so unique and I love the shape of them. So they stay out on my countertop since I always use them. And they're just a fun conversation piece for when guests come over as well. Just adding little things like that into your countertop just help to infuse character and personality to it and overall make it feel cozier. I also cook with pink Himalayan salt all the time and this is the beautiful container that it comes in. So this is just an example. Instead of having this out on your countertop, just cause inevitably it will end up on your countertop cause you use it all the time. I would just put it in something like this to where it's just aesthetic, it looks beautiful and you're not worried about cleaning it up and it just kind of looks like it belongs on your countertop with this really beautiful woven detail. It just helps things to feel more elevated and aesthetic but really all you did was just buy yourself a nice little salt shaker. Another thing that really makes a big difference when styling your kitchen is using a utensil crock. And this is something that you see in almost every designer kitchen. It's a staple that lots of designers like to incorporate because it helps to add some height and warmth to the space. And not only that, but it's a really practical way to have all your spoons and spatulas within arm's reach while you're cooking. And a little tip I have to make them feel even more aesthetic is just to keep only wooden spoons in your crock because it helps the space to feel really natural and cohesive where if it's a bunch of wood mixed with plastic, mixed with metal, it can just look a bit jumbled and disorganized. But if it's all wood, it looks a lot more clean and visually pleasing to the eye. And it's also a natural material. So again, that just helps to give off a calming feel to the space. So what I'll do is I'll just buy those bamboo spoon and spatula sets. And I also try to mix those in with old spoons and old vintage rolling pins that I find while I'm out thrifting or at the antique store just to help give it more of a rustic feel. And then I'll keep my plastic utensils in our drawer. So obviously everything can't all be wood. You know, we have metal tongs and plastic tongs and things like that. So I just keep those tucked away in the drawer so the wood can have its moment out on the countertop. So for my Crocs, this is just a personal preference, but I really like to source rustic looking ones because it helps to give my countertop some depth and texture. And I often find that planters make really great crocs. I've shown you all this one from Target that I found with a very rustic feel to it. That guy was like $25 I believe which is such a great deal and really helps to give a more designer feel to a countertop because we have very light and bright surfaces 
so it helps to contrast that and add some dimension. And that actually brings me to my next tip, which is to incorporate old, worn, and rustic items. I talk about this all the time on my channel, but I will say it again. Incorporating items that are worn adds such a gorgeous texture and level of depth to your styling. And I love using vintage breadboards because they often have these patinas and aging on them that truly cannot be replicated. They just add so much warmth and personality to my backsplash. And they are some of my absolute favorite styling pieces in this entire space. And a funny side story is originally before I had a home, I was searching for inspiration for one day when I would have my own space to style and I came across Pure Salt Interiors and they are an interior design company based out of Southern California and I was really drawn to the super light yet really warm feeling that their spaces had and I noticed that they had these beautiful breadboards in a lot of their kitchens so I was like cool I'm gonna keep my eye out for something like that at home goods and it wasn't until like a whole year of searching that I realized I'm not gonna find that at home goods because they are vintage and usually sourced from antique shops they typically come from Turkey or somewhere over in Europe and that was when I discovered the joy of antique shopping and sourcing pieces that have a story and how much character and depth they can add to a space. So I'm a big fan of breadboards because they help to infuse that old world feel along with lots of warmth and texture to give my kitchen that cozy rustic feeling. I also mentioned the antique copper pots that I have hanging and I always try to incorporate a rustic vase as well on my island for a more cozy feel. The worn pieces just help to break up all of the cold, sleek surfaces that often appear in kitchens, you know, things like stainless steel, marble, metals, etc. You can use things like vintage bowls and old world recipe boxes, vintage utensils, things like that. I just love the worn chippy pieces to help add layers of texture and personality back into my space. Okay, so another easy way to make your kitchen feel elevated would just to simply be upgrade your lighting. And you can do this no matter what kind of budget you have. You you can always start small and add a mini lamp to your countertop. I love mini lamps because they help to make a kitchen feel more homey and cozy and they're a super budget friendly solution if you don't have under cabinet lighting and you just need to add a bit of brightness. I think I bought mine for like 20 bucks and I love the rustic old world feel that it has. And not only are they practical, but they help to add to the aesthetic of the space as well. Because kitchens tend to be cold and sterile, you know, things like mini lamps can really help to warm up a space and really soften it. And if you have a certain layout with an island or a peninsula, you could also have an electrician just come and wire for pendants if you don't have any, or if you already have some, swapping them out for something a little bit more updated can make such an impact. I think people really underestimate the impact that lighting can make and pendants are a great way to do that in a kitchen space. We opted for black pendants that resembled iron because there was a photo of a Studio McGee dining room that I loved and they had this beautiful pair of black statement pendants. So I found a dupe on Wayfair and I think they were like $120 each. So it ended up giving us a similar look and the black really helps to add a pop of contrast to our bright kitchen as well. And I will link some of my favorite budget-friendly pendants below as well as anything that I can link from this video. They will be affiliate links, meaning I get a very small commission if you purchase from those links. So just want you to know that's the deal. You don't have to use them, but just so you know, they are there. And if you do use them, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so another thing that I really like to do when styling my kitchen, especially when guests are coming over, is have a treat out on display. I have this marble cake stand with a lid that I found at Home Goods, and I love to fill it with different treats to help things feel fresh and fun. Not only does it elevate the look of the space, but it really just brings me joy and the people around me joy to have those things ready to go on the countertop. And there's something about it being visual that it's presented in an aesthetic way that makes things feel so much more inviting. And honestly, it feels like a little coffee shop shop and just makes everything so much cuter. And you can also display healthy things that you have on hand for the week as well. We have a berry bowl that I made in my ceramics class and I just fill that with our limes that we always use for cooking and drinks. I love how I'm like, yeah, you could use some healthy things and I'm like, limes for drinks. <laughs> Clearly, you know what you're getting in this household, but that's the great part about it is you can customize it to whatever your family eats and whatever your needs and wants are. Whenever you look at a designer space and they have it photographed for magazines, 90% of the the time there are things that you would eat and consume styled out on the countertops. There's just something about it that feels really lived in and cozy and it's just nice to go to someone's house and see some cute muffins out on the countertop 
or some limes in a bowl. I know these are little nitpicky details, but when they're all combined, it really does help to make a big difference overall. Okay, so another tip that I have is to incorporate textiles into your kitchen styling. And it really helps to source particular types of textiles that can help to elevate your space and make it feel more designer. Some examples of textiles in a kitchen would be things like your dish towels, hot pads, and oven mitts. I actually just hang our hot pads and oven mitts right off of our hardware. It helps to give the kitchen a styled feel while also being really practical because they're just within arm's reach and I'm always grabbing for them. So I don't have to open any drawers or throw them in the cabinets. They're just right there ready to go. And then when I'm done with them, I can just set them back on the hook. And because they're out and seen all the time, I try to source ones that have an organic feel. So, you know, things like jute or a woven waffle material. I also love subtle stripes and hand towels with kind of a gauzy look to them, just giving off that casual soft vibe. And I typically stay away from things that are super bright and have a ton of patterns or wording on them, but that's just my personal preference and how I like the overall style of my space to be. I like to feel calm when walking into a space, so down to earth patterns and textures really help to create that feeling for me. Things that are more natural and earthy and just have a subtle texture and aren't too loud. I also know that rugs are a controversial subject when it comes to kitchens. Some people don't like them in a kitchen, but I personally am all for it. I love the one that we have in our space. It's one of those padded printed Laloy runners, so it's basically just kind of like a comfy pad for our feet and it was really affordable. I got ours at TJ Maxx online and then to hold it in place I use rug tape so it doesn't move around which has been a game changer. And this is just one spot where I like to add a little bit of subtle pattern to help break up the space, especially since we have so much white in there. I like that it's a vintage style rug. So again, it looks classic and gives off a timeless feel and a little punch of pattern can be really nice and refreshing to the eye as well. Okay, so another thing that you can do to a kitchen space to instantly elevate it is to incorporate greenery. And unfortunately, our kitchen is kind of tucked in the back of our living space, so it doesn't receive a ton of direct light. So I found that I have to use faux plants since my real ones always die back there. But if you're fortunate enough to have a window in your kitchen, this can be a great spot to pop a plant or even herbs for cooking. And I love styling with greenery in all of my spaces because it just helps to bring that feeling of the outdoors inside Side, and the kitchen is no exception. And there's so many ways that you can incorporate greenery into your space. The first is a classic statement vase with stems in it. It works really great on somewhere like a kitchen island or a peninsula that needs a little bit of height. And one of my favorite types of stems to use are olive stems because they help to give off that rustic Mediterranean feel, which is perfect for the kitchen. And I do swap my stems out as the seasons change, but just my favorite go-tos during the spring and summer are all was the olive stems. I also have a little mini olive tree that helps to add that rustic look to my backsplash area. And this is just a bit more practical for any kitchen layout because it can fit underneath countertops or open shelving. We also have a hanging basket that I like to style some stems in to add a touch of softness to our backsplash. And I get a ton of questions on our bar that we have hanging and I'm always hesitant to talk about it because if you're hanging anything like that over a stove, you really need to make sure that safety is your first priority over aesthetics. But actually the bar that's hanging over our stove is just a curtain rod that I got from Ikea. It was a couple of dollars and the way that our range hood is, I was able to add some hooks to it. So it's secure up there, but I'm hesitant to tell other people that because obviously they don't have the same setup as us. Something that you could do would be to screw hooks in the bottom of your cabinets and make sure that those were really secure. And then you could add the rod from there. But I like to use this rod as an opportunity to display some of my antique copper pots. I have this really cute vintage egg poacher that I found at a local antique shop and I love that it helps to warm up my backsplash while giving the space a bit of that old world vintage charm as well. And then my last tip is to use trays, dishes, and risers to help corral your items in a more organized way. And this is super simple and straightforward but it really does help to make the countertop areas feel like they are less cluttered and more organized. Kind of like everything has a place so it's a lot more pleasing 
pleasing to the eye when things like your dish and hand soap are styled in a little tray. Same thing with your countertop items. It's nice to use a long skinny tray so it doesn't take up a ton of your valuable countertop space, but it still helps everything to look neat and organized. But yeah, as you guys know, this is a trick that I use all over my home with trays and risers and things like that. It just helps everything to feel a lot more intentional and clean. If you feel like your countertop is a little cluttered, maybe invest in a little tray or something so you can just put those items in there and it feels a little bit more put together. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed this fun little kitchen styling video. I love watching what other people do in their own kitchens because a lot of times it helps to give me some fresh inspiration and insight when I feel like I'm just kind of in recipe ruts or I want to swap things around to just make things feel new again. So I hope you got an idea or two from this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to actually give it a thumbs up because it really does help to support the channel. And be sure that you're subscribed because I post new home decor content every single week. So make sure you don't miss it by hitting the notification bell. And I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great week and I will see you in my next one. Bye.